Are you looking to move to Southeast Wisconsin or Northeast Illinois from out of state? Maybe you got a job transfer and you're moving to the area and you need to buy a house. Maybe you're an investor. You're looking for some investment properties to buy to rent out, whatever you're looking to do. How do you buy a house from long distance when you don't live in the area? Let's go over that in this video that starts right now. Hey everyone, this is Chance Guy with EXP Realty. I hope you had a great weekend, and let's look forward to an even better week this week. Please, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the like button, just so I know you guys are here and enjoying these videos. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're buying a house out of state, you're going to wanna do your research. You're gonna wanna choose an area to live in. Do you wanna live downtown? Do you wanna live in a planned subdivision? Do you wanna live in an older subdivision? Maybe you wanna live out in the county of the area. Do you wanna buy a house? Do you wanna buy a condo? Maybe you wanna buy a farm. I don't know what you wanna buy, but definitely do your research. Check in see what's available in the area. If you have kids, you probably want to check out the schools in the area. Is there a school that you think is best that maybe you want to send your kids to? You want to look for houses in that area then. Check out some local Facebook pages in that area. Join local groups. Try and find some blogs in the area. Try and get a feel for the area. Oh, is this an area that I would enjoy living in? Is this an area that I would enjoy raising my kids in? What is there to do other than just stay at home? Is there nightlife? Are there movie theaters? Are there things to do? Make sure you check all that stuff out before you just go in and buy a house. Step two in buying a house long distance is you're going to want to find a local realtor that's willing to help you. You'll find that not every realtor is willing to help a buyer that's out of state. Helping a buyer that's out of state is kind of a different ball game because the buyer's not here obviously and we as the realtor have to do a little extra work. I work with several out of state buyers. A couple of them are investors and a couple of them are people that are moving here for job transfers. So what I personally do is I take my phone and we either zoom call or we FaceTime them and I shoot a, a live video throughout the house with them. I walk through the house, show them every room, I point out things that I notice in the rooms throughout the house, I give them approximate sizes of the rooms, and just any other comments that I think that they may find relevant to this house. Because obviously I want them to like the house. I don't want them to put on an offer on a house and then come a couple weeks later and say, Chad, I hate this house. I'm not going to buy it. That's just not good for anybody. So I try to make the video as informational as possible. And of course, my buyers are on the video with me. So if they have any questions throughout the tour, we can always stop and answer those questions. Of course, in a live video isn't always possible, especially if you're moving here from overseas. So then I do a recorded video. But same thing with the recorded video. I try to stay as detailed as possible. Just so that if you have any questions, you can always call or email me at a later point and hopefully I've answered that question either on the video or I'll have an answer with me already without having to go back to the house. Step three to buying a house from out of state is that if you plan on coming to see the house before you put the offer in or maybe you have a couple houses that you like you want to try and narrow down just a few houses while you're in town here. I know as typically you only want to see five to seven houses in one time because if you see any more than that it just kind of start to blend together. You forget the features of one house or maybe you're taking features from one house and you think it goes to another house. You just kind of blend together and it really does nobody any good by seeing more than that many houses at one time. So if you come into town to take a look at the house before you offer on it, make sure you have it narrowed down to, I would say, ideally three to five houses, at most five to seven houses. So that way, after you've toured the houses in person, you can go back to your hotel room and you can have more of a clear thought process about which house you do like and which houses you don't like. So that way you can narrow it down even more so you can put an offer on the house that you ultimately do decide that you like. Step four to buying a house from out of state is you have to know the market. This is where hiring the right agent becomes important. Imperative. Of course, you don't live in the area that you're buying in. Say you're buying here in the Kenosha area. You don't live here, so you don't know what the market really is. So you need to rely on your agent. You know, is it still a strong seller's market like it has been all across the country? Well, even though all across the country, a strong seller's market means different things in different areas. Say, for instance, here in Kenosha area, a strong seller's market means that the house hits the market and hours, maybe a day later, sold and off the market. Now, if you go a couple hours to the west of us, that market's totally different. Houses aren't selling quite as fast. It's still a seller's market in that area. It's just not as high as it is here in Kenosha. So your realtor knows things like this. You know, they can help you craft an offer for the house that you ultimately like. They'll help you craft an offer so that it gets accepted the first time. So that way, everybody's happy. You have the house you want. It's under contract. We can start the loan process. Or if you're buying cash, we can start the title work. And we can move on to closing. Picking a local agent that has strong knowledge of the local market is imperative to buying a house when you live out of state. Step five to buying a house from out of state are your contingencies and inspections that are in the contract. I know that in today's market, Market, in this really hot seller's market, a lot of people are waiving things such as the inspection contingency and stuff like that. Um, if you can at all, try not to do that. This is where the superior knowledge of a local agent can definitely help you. They can help you craft an offer that even though you're still asking for things such as a home inspection, the seller will look at it and say, well, you know what? This buyer isn't going to ask for any repairs under $5,000. They're not nickel and dime me. So I'm okay with the home inspection because my home is good. There are no repairs that need to be made over $5,000. Spend the money on a home inspection. 
and let's get this deal done. So you definitely want to have a local agent that knows the market really well, knows how to craft an offer for you that will get accepted without any questions. Step six in buying a house from Ohio State is the closing. How are you going to close? Well, it depends on how you're buying the house. If you're financing the house, most lenders require you to sign in the state you're buying the house with an actual pen in hand, what they call a wet signature. And you have to sign in front of a notary public because they have to notarize some specific documents. Some lenders though, they'll let the title company mail you everything you need to sign. Then you just sign it in front of a notary public in the state that you're in and you mail it back. Those are two ways to close. If you're paying cash for the house, everything can be done electronically. You don't have to come back to the state you're buying the house in. So closing just depends on how you're buying the house. If you're buying cash, if you're financing it, and it depends on your lender. So those are the general steps for buying a house out of state. Of course, there are a couple other little minor details that I may not have put in this video, but generally that's how you buy a house from out of state. I'll put a couple links down here in the description that link to things such as crime maps and school ratings. All you have to do is put the city in or a zip code and it'll tell you that information. And please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the like button just so I know that you're here and that you like these videos. If you'd like to be notified of new videos that drop every Monday at 10 a.m., also hit that bell notification. I'm Chad Scott of the HC Realty, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me anytime. Text, email, phone calls. I'm here to help you any way that I possibly can. If you like this video, make sure you check out this other video that I did. What should I look for when buying a house? It goes through everything that you should look for when you're walking through a house and you're considering buying it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, and I'll see you back here next Monday.